Yesterday, something bad happened to Bear, our Jersey steer calf. He's right inside there. In a second, we're gonna open that up and check on him and see how he did overnight. Yesterday, when I was bringing in the cows to gather the calves, it was going pretty smooth. It's going really peaceful. Brook there, sounding good. Cows going in, and nobody's here to see. I've had guests the last several days, and never did it go this smooth. Come on, guys. Way to make me look like a real cowboy when nobody's around. Then something different happened. Aunt Flossie, our newish milk cow, went in the stall with the calves. That stall. I wish Flossie wouldn't have went in there with the calves. I went in there to get her out, and then it happened. Oh, no, hey, 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 hey. Then I couldn't believe what I saw. Holy snap. Holy smokes. Bear had broke off his horn, and I didn't know what to do. I didn't know about this, so I went and found Rebecca. So what was your first reaction when I came to you and told you Bear had broken off his horn? Well, I knew that it was okay, that like, um, it was a life-threatening issue. We talked to Mr. Google Pants. Well, you already knew that. You already knew. Yeah. And I didn't know this, but you already knew that it's it's a bloody, it's very non-life-threatening situation. Yeah, and like that it happens sometimes. It's not, it's not super common, but it can happen. And then, because I will admit, I thought maybe this is an emergency. Uh, we were going to harvest bear in January anyway. Do we need to speed this up? Do we, do we have to get the emergency bed out here? What do we have to do? Uh, so I was super relieved. Rebecca and our friends, the haulers, helped us treat this one. We got him inside the stanchion to encourage the bleeding to stop. We put some cayenne pepper over the wound. That worked. The ladies took a nice warm rag and wiped the blood off the side of his face. And by that time, you know, at first he was kind of like, you saw it in the video, you know, he was kind of like clearly in pain. But this wasn't long after, maybe 30-ish minutes, and he was already calm and acting normal. And actually, I think enjoying the warm rag bath. I think it was like his mother licking him. Now, let's check on him. Let's see how he's doing. There's Aunt Nelly. How you doing, Bear? You okay? You okay, buddy? You look fine. You're not breathing hard. Are you gonna get up? Yeah, okay, that's good. That's good. Here, you're up. <laughs> How you doing this morning, buddy? That's the good horn. That's the bad horn, it got knocked sideways. You okay? You seem okay. You're a tough one. You gals are tougher than we think, aren't you? Huh? You like this? You like this neck rub? You like that? <laughs> I was so worried for you, buddy. I'm glad you're all right. I like you. I like you. Okay? So, gosh, you get attached to these animals. Especially the big, fuzzy ones. At first, I had thought that maybe Aunt Flossie had hurt him. But looking back at the footage, yeah, she cornered him was hurting them out, but when he escaped, he actually caught his head on her. It wasn't like she rammed into the side of his head and broke his horn like I thought at first. So I'm feeling pretty good about that. I think going forward, lesson learned, is I'm gonna have to take extra care not to let her get in these stalls. We'll do that this afternoon. We got our supplies. Jonas, this is gonna be more than enough. Hold those, please. The floods have really shown us our weakness. Water was running into here. We've had our driveway graded. We couldn't even park here. I know. Because we had to put wood chips here. We thought we were gonna garden it. We sort of want our driveway back. Yeah. <laughs> so, okay. But look at all that topsoil. This is a testimony to what, <laughs> what wood chips end up being. Papa! Look at this black soil. Papa. Gosh! Guys, we jump like he's in the mountain now. Okay. I jumped two of them down head first. Okay. And I grabbed his sleeve and ripped him down after me. So here we are, right before 
we get into the barn. See, we have this wall here, we have the lane here. Let this be a holding area. And that way I get them all in here and then I can go in front and get Flossie in and the others aren't just gonna run all the way back to the field to get yeah, it. Yeah, So we have a holding idea. area. And it's not gonna be very hard to make. Now we'll legitify this if it works. Okay. Right, Rebecca? Yeah. It's always best to fail small, right? That's right. Here's the idea, folks. Yeah. You guys are definitely staying out of the lane. Yes. Don't do that. Um, this fence, this is our back fence. I'm going to go ahead and move it right now. Now, we're going to herd them into this area and then shut this off, okay? What are our chances? Uh, one. We're like 95%. 95%, okay. See the formation? Top of the pecking order to the bottom. Nelly, where are you going, honey? This is not good. I don't want her to leave. Okay, come on. No, no, where are y'all going? Hey, let's go. Jonah, bring your rod. Jonah could bring up the rear. We're just talking about the more timid cows and I'll go herd the more bold cows. You're gonna bring up the rear, okay? No cows behind me. No cows will come behind me. You're more important than this job, so if you get scared at any moment, just jump out of the lane. If I have Jonah, <laughs> wait a minute. If I have Jonah, I don't know if I need this this back fence, Jonah's my back fence. Cause I'll just run Flossie in. And I'm not worried about Phyllis hurting anybody. Hey, let, 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 start out. That was easy. No, yeah, uh, yeah, shut it Jonah. Shut it, because I do need to come back out there. Whoa. Hey, Mom, be careful. No, I didn't realize. You don't hook it up, though, Jonah. Just put it across. So it is coming in useful, because I don't want everybody to go back. That's not to put I don't want Jonah to be compromised. Hey, well, I'm going to get her in the stanchion for that. Come on, we'll pet her. Good girl, good girl, look at that. Mom, come pet her. How's it feeling, Bear? How's it feeling? 